Hey guys, Kevin here from the Wild Wild Weiss Group, bringing you guys a new video series for this channel, Unbanned Decks vs. Meta. Every so often people think, does so and so still belong in Banlist? With this video series, we put that idea to the test. For our first video, as you can see, we have Idol Master, but we plan to also test out series like Monogatari, Kanko, The Capo, and etc. against various decks in the JP Meta. For this video, it will just be me commenting one of my matches against a fellow Calgary local, but for future videos, we will include other members of the Wild Wild Rice Group. This is the band deck I will be using for Idol Master. I could have just used the top of the deck from that meta, however since then, deck building has changed. This deck and future decks are not finalized for the whole series, so if you have any suggestions for deck changes, you can let me, us know in the comments below. For Charlotte, while it's still relatively new since we've got the key 10th anniversary set, this is how we would decide to build the deck. Again, any suggestion, just let us know down below. Alright, for this ma matchup of Idol Master vs Charlotte, if we're going to talk about team matchup, we have to focus on two things. Idol Master focuses around walling out and being able to mill out their deck quick to get some good compression, while Charlotte has their annoying top end with anti fronts and anti burn. Their top end doesn't really interact too well with, uh, with uh, Idol Master because Idol Master doesn't burn, nor do they care about be able to reverse at level 3 because their finisher power smile Rin is able to resend even without having to reverse. So starting off, we have me opening up with the runner, it's pretty good. I also drew into the Mirai, which allows me to go for a good turn 2 play. My opponent opens up double, double anti-burns. Even though it doesn't really do much in this matchup, it's still a nice uh, compression by sending itself to memory, as well as being able to dig out for his next turn play. He plays his back roll, which is a pants assist, which allows him to draw the ditch every time he hits a uh, pants trigger. It doesn't let him uh, beat over my runner, but it does help in case he triggers the pants. My runner is able to run center just to deny some soul damage, and as I said it, here he triggers the pants, grabs his level 1 combo, and then off the draw ditch. Since he ditches the level 1 combo again, it means there's a second one in hand already. Which means he basically just got a free plus right here. My play here is likely to play the Ricky here, after I draw my clock. Now another thing to know about this matchup is that your walls are usually 7, 7k, 8k, 7k if you play triple of the 6-5 walls along with your level assist, level, level assist and your uh, brainstormer. But for some reason Charlotte's uh, combo is able to hit 7-5 which means they can actually beat over your lane. Especially since he has the pants assist out, that means he, he, he don't even beat the center lane because the center lane will be able to reach 8-5. I grab the Brainstormer off the Ricky, and I have two choice of play here. I can either crash my lane in so I can get the runner to build the front center, or I just try to wall up my uh, 7k wall even higher, which doesn't really do much because he can still be over it. But I opted to do this play, which means I free up, I don't free up a slot, slot in my lane. So since I'm behind damage, I don't want to take that extra slow damage from the direct. So I go over this line of play instead. Going for the swings, he's taking all three damage so far, and he opts to uh, use the effect of his anti burn. So search, since we know he has the CX, he's probably looking for his level one combo here, and we'll probably see a double or triple level one combo play next turn. We do it again. We we'll trigger a pants, but unfortunately, we don't have any dink to salvage here, any CX to salvage here. So hopefully he just takes the damage, which he does. Six, if he didn't take the damage here, he probably wouldn't use his anti-burn effect and try to just uh, use his own Ricky to level up next turn. A1. But since he, he does take it, Discarded he uses a combo to just search Memory for his search. Uh, level 1 combo again. He just uses anti-burn to search for his level 1 combo again. So this play, he's going probably for a double or triple play. He's able to beat my entire lane because his uh, pants assist allows to tap and plus one five. 
Fox the Runner because it's pretty dead now. And as expected, he goes for the triple combo play. This means he'll be able to have a full hand if he triggers pants, Power or he'll center. be a six hand. He gets some good mills, which pushes him towards uh, second deck. Almost forgets to uh, add the power, but yeah, he catches it here. And then he slams down the six. Okay, one. So here, I should be decently compressed because I've I'm only currently two six out, one six in hand, and one triggered. I milled. I took a lot of damage last turn. Push myself to level two, and yeah, as you see, I cancel here. I believe I'm hoping for a second cancel, but if I take next to attack, it wouldn't be too surprising. He grabs his two on assist, which is always nice, but it's not really that important because the hex proof doesn't really do much. But the power does help Charlotte a lot from not dying on uh, offense, even if you can defend from defense. Oh, and yeah, I have a 2k counter, so even though he beats over my center lane, I use the counter just to defend. But 9k was big enough. Draw the anti-change, this is always good. It's either just more ways to protect my walls, or if he actually does use the uh, early play pizza girl, then I'm able to get rid of that. Obviously you play your full back row. And then I decided to brainstorm here. Because yeah. you always want to be able to mill up to second deck real quick with this deck. Hit one off the brainstorm. Sign what I could choose here. There's TP Rin, there's a Rin Nasa. Uh, you probably don't want the brainstorm or the runner. So it's either the EP healer, the Asa, or some more uh, of the 6 5 walls, which are basically 7k walls because of the global assist. Level assist. Since so TP Rin is pretty early and you're, I have combo in hand, so that means I'm likely able to grab the TP Rin off my combo if I need yeah. to. So I just you off to it. grab the uh, Rinaz Asad to get some more mill and allows me to ditch out that CX that I clocked through. And sure. since I hit the TP Rin here, there isn't too much for me to grab off my combo. I can either choose to uh, grab another wall or grab another TP. Sure. Stock the runner that's pretty much useless at this point. I can decide to go direct, but I go for the combo here. Opt oh, not to uh, grab a CX because I'm about to hit refresh. And I search here, searching for a uh, costless playable next for next turn. He doesn't really have any two ones and early play I'm not afraid of, so but just not to risk it. I swing direct just because he cancelled last turn, so hopefully there's three sticks. Three sticks? Which it does. And I swing over his last lane. Two sticks. No now he's uh empty board. Now here's the problem with Charlotte. They don't really have much to do after they combo do their combo turn. And it's just ruling just uh just doing really whatever until they hit level three. Uh it's not really a good position for him to early play. But if he does early play, he does have a side lane in the center, which will be met with my TP Ren next turn. Because I triggered a CX last turn, I believe I'm either one or two CX left in deck and about five or six card. So I'm favored to cancel once. Refreshing first. Brainstorms hits one and is able to refresh, so he yep. has us his entire deck to search from. Camera's lost camera this game, you have the anti -change. He'll be hitting level two here. He has full clock compression. And he's just deciding what to grab here. 
there's no point doing an early play because you you only really want to use the early play just so you can heal down, just to stall out the game some more. Grab this just in case I clock in. But he's also wary that I'm wearing I'm playing uh two of the anti change counter. So he probably wants to be he doesn't want to use it. Use the early play. He grabs a level three beater, which he's he's able to beat my uh TP win with with the uh the pants assist pump because t because uh it hits 12 5 and then if you have a cx and the pump it hits 15k he does the annoying ricky thing which uh since he knows i'm about to refresh he kicks the C stock out and it puts a cx in right before my refresh that way i'm refreshing with one less cx and as I believe, he's going for just uh, play everything down and crash everything in. Because there isn't a whole much that Charlotte really does at this point. <laughs> Taking a bit to decide what he wants to do here. But I know I'll be plusing two this turn because he'll be crashing in. Two, I believe his brainstorm is able to beat over, especially if he powers it with the uh, pants assist, which is fine. If I do hit level uh, two here, I'm able to early play my TP Rin and not have to use any more of my hand. I just get a full board here. And since he's being over the center lane, I'll always have a lane, I'll still have a lane to uh, combo with this turn. Wish me I can get another plus if I do draw into the stock soul. Two. Swings for two. I take it. Power here, I guess. 1k here. Doesn't matter, I don't think. One. Crashes for one. I take it. Two. Damn it. And swings for two. So I did have one CX left in deck. And uh, luckily, he did trigger, so I'm able to refresh my full clock compression. That would have been sick. For one my day. my opponent did mention here if he didn't trigger, it would have been very good because he's able to put my Renasa to waiting room, and then as well as get my entire clock to waiting room, which means I would have bad compression, or at least a, seven cards more, seven more non CX left in deck. I clock. The dead CX, and I drew right into another TP rin, so I have two heals. Heals heals the CX right off. I'm in a good position. Brainstorm, just to hit, and I'm five clean, so I should be. If I trigger clean here, there's a good chance I cancel quite a bit next turn. Front here for three. He has no TP rin has no backup, so you can't anti change me, and he takes the three. Swing here for two. He takes that as well. With a fresh deck, it's pretty, pretty whatever. Your 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 climax this could be anywhere, but you usually don't expect to eat that much. But he does cancel one, so yeah, canceling one or twice per turn is the norm. It's not too bad. He did give me direct lane, so I'm swinging for big though. Goes to brainstorm because he doesn't have too much hand. Two, Six card in the hand, but he has to play three characters. So that means he'll be down two. But now he's able to go up to eight, play three characters, go down to five. Meaning he'll be in a fine position for when he's level three, which is pretty likely. But since he hit two, there's no way he can early play heal, so he's not going to be healed down. So I believe he wants to be able to heal, uh, be able to mill. Just so that he's uh, able to refresh with clock, meaning he'll have six six cards in clock, not going back to his deck. More correctly, there's a build leg here, and he does grab his level one combo and the anti change assist. I'm not really sure why he grabbed that, but yeah, so plays level three beater. He's if he has if he has CX, it's an easy way to beat over. But look at my hand again. I do have the anti change counter, which means 
And I know he's not really playing this turn, so I can freely use that just to defend my center lane. Slots. But my opponent doesn't know I have the anti change counter in hand, okay. so he's doing this play. Even if I do, if he even if he does know I have it, it's better to force here so that I don't use it for his level three play. Seems fine. In hindsight, you could have just decided to let your TP Rin die here, but I wanted to go for that extra soul damage and push as much damage as I can while he doesn't have his now walls up or now anti friends up. Goes for the combo play, he can grab the healer. I believe his decision is he, he believes he has some more CXs left in deck. So, oh, does he want to mill out? He wants to mill out to one card left in deck. Swinging for one, so, two. if he grabs one, he's able to. Yeah, yep, if right. he since he triggers a uh, pants, he's still able to draw a ditch. So, then he'll go ditch. down to one card at the end of this attack phase. Right. Uh, or he'll, he'll go down to. Uh, Two cards actually, because he's four left and two more swings. So I guess I'm saying he has more than one CX uh, left in his deck. Swing for one, two, yeah. One, so he's two, being over my Rin here, two. and I'm just holding my hand above the stock, just ready to pay my uh, counter. It would defend my TP Rin here, and I eat two. Swings to this last guy, and phew, I'm able to cancel here. That Rin 1 0 has been there since turn 2, I believe. So it's been getting a lot of values for me. Oh, no, it's been there since uh, turn, turn 1. Okay. Or after. Yeah, after. Hmm, that means I forgot to bottom deck it with the Mando. So I'll play the Koma here. <sighs> Mill of three CXs, which is uh, some yikes moment. <laughs> Meaning that five damage I took was uh, pretty not expected. I believe I'm two cards left in deck. And yeah, I brainstorm here. I flubbed up and pressed the wrong button. Yeah, the and then we, or... we have to uh, <laughs> rewind game state here. Which is the good thing about TTS. Usually in normal game, this would have been a game loss, but uh, okay, we're just good. playing casually here, so it's fine. So yeah, I do the right play this time. Play the Oz, uh, grab, almost yeah. grab the wrong CX, and then, and then do the ditch. Now this time, actually showed too. I almost pressed refresh again here, but yeah, mill five clean. Unfortunate, yeah. but whatever. That's just less less damage I'm taking next turn. Which means this play I should have probably just swung three times and tr just get some clean compression here. But yeah, since I saw the CX, I believe this play I I chose to be able to search out for my finisher or or something next turn. This is why this play, getting a fresh new deck. Cancels. Swing for a very large amount, but he cancels it anyways. Single TP Rin first, because I know he's counter in hand for the anti change. And I swing here. He's able to get Two that sticks. sick oh. clock compression. But he levels here. Fresh damage. Now, uh, what do I choose here? Oh, and some unlucky uh, CX refresh here. So here I have another backup. I have the TP rain of my finisher, and I believe I grab the backup here. This is just so that he can't ever front with the three two now, because I can ab I'm able to defend. So he's forced to hit my swing into my two side lanes here. In hindsight, I probably should have got the power smile right here, because no I know this this is the turn he's gonna go for nows.
plus one now. We know he has that from his combo last turn. So he heals down. So he has two two of the right CXs in his waiting room. Meaning if he does double trigger, he's he's able to do his double now. Unable to beat my TP in the center because it's 14-5. Even the power, power pump doesn't really do much. Yep, he states that he's unable to beat my middle lane. And we just swing him, see him get swing. I believe I'm currently 20 cards in the deck. And then one CX in my waiting room. So that means I'm currently 7 in 20. So I'm pretty pretty favored to cancel here. For a slightly less than three three one CX per three card ratio. Pats. Grab this. Pats here, so he grabs the right the CX. He's able to draw this so he gets another plus. Swing. Check top. Check top. Pats a hat. Pants, I guess I will grab the other one. He hits another pants, so that means he's able to uh, ditch. double double uh, anti front next turn, which is a uh, pretty predictive event against me, especially since I don't have my power smile ring or the CX in oh, hand. Great. Realize he uh, accidentally the threw the pants into his wing room, so he someone puts back there, but. Oh, and my trigger cancel on three, as expected with the ratio. Two. Last one swings for two, which is fine. I have a TP in hand, so I'm able to heal it off. Go back to down three zero. Would have been nice if I triple cancel though, but you can't complain too much. So yeah. we're even on damage. Uh, but he has a two anti fronts, three, which means four, five, six, so yeah, need to he could get a damage uh, lead here. So my goal here is just to uh, compress down, maybe find some way to uh, yeah. get some chip damage through. Hitting two here means I can grab some level threes. I grab the power smile Rin here. I see I'm still three and eight, three and seven. And it, I went to go up to get some mills to mill out those CXs, I believe. <laughs> Play Power Smile Rin here. Draw two. Draw two. Then I have the dish two. I see I have the right CX, but I opted not to because I want to go for a refresh play here. Get a, get a good refresh off here. This also means there's only one two soul left in my deck. I go for the heal here. Since I know there's at least one more two soul here, maybe I go. F I can get a cheeky side through. Side through for one. Heal down and compress. I have three CXs. Two no two CXs and four. So hopefully I don't trigger two of them. The last two. But regardless, if I do trigger, I'll be refreshing 6 in, I believe, 20 again. Two. Actually, it should be less than that because I don't have the clock compression this refresh. It's actually a pretty bad refresh if I do trigger both of them. So yeah, That's I start attack bad. phase and he's grabbing two cards after ditching his two CX's, activating the double hex, the double front, anti-front, grabs a healer and uh, anti-bomb in case he wants to be able to crash in and mill out. Swing direct for three, get some lucky hits here as he, oh yeah, he eats it all. Siding for negative one, still, still is negative one. So he takes the damage, and then, yep, here's that cheeky, Six. cheeky one damage here. Draw. Now, I have the backup in hand, so I'm able to pay out that 
once he exits, if he fronts into any of my lanes. Hopefully he sides, hits fronts into my two side lanes here. Oh. That way I can uh, pay out the stock Powers. and defend my character. I'm not quite sure if my opponent remembers. I grab the uh, the yes, the backup from quite a bit ago. Especially since he didn't force it out. So here you just uh, heal, I believe. He does have the two one assist that we saw him grab from the combo on like turn turn three. So what he can do is uh, tap to give one lane power to beat over one of my side lanes, and then uh, play the assist so that he can beat over my other side lane. <laughs> Assuming I don't have a backup, but I do. Tap first, give this. Yep. Uh, so he does the lineup play that I said. Gives power to one lane and plays the other. So I have one CX left in the deck and one card, so I'm guaranteed to cancel his first attack. And I'm hoping to be able to pay out the set stock so that okay. I have a good uh, refresh rate here. So yeah, he plays into my play here. He swings the wrong lane first, unfortunately. Now I'm able to uh, be over his now while also paying out my CX here. Yeah, he almost forgot the now effect if I catch it last second. So he swings for uh, two here still. I do pay out yeah. stock. I get the fence. Sure. Yep, one card left in deck is a cancel, it's guaranteed, and a refresh damage. Crash is here, tack order now doesn't matter too much. Uh, he accidentally puts the pants, thinking yeah. it's a gold bar. My bad, I but, yeah, fix it for him. Like, uh, my bad. So now we know he has for... one combo and he's able to. Uh, be over. Sorry, uh, be over bad. one lane. Yeah. Add to hand. Well, side, I guess. Uh, oh, he offs the side. So I believe here he uh, yeah. sort of forgot he pumped the power to it so he can yeah. be over my Rin. Sorry about that. I'll pay three to keep. After Especially since he got uh, distracted with the whole climax thing. So I only took the refresh damage because I canceled twice. Yeah. And then he sided once. He decides to pay three to Encore. So we know for sure he has one of the CX in hand. So on. there's a possibility since he Encore, there's a second one. CX in hand. Discards one, two, three, four, five, Discards six, one seven, for overhand. Overhand. Now it's my turn. I don't have a healer in hand, but. I'm able to brainstorm. Yeah, I hit one. Sorry, I keep thinking it's like a gold bar. I don't know why. That's my bad. So here, what I'm looking for, I have three CX out. Three of them are pants. And we'll decide here. We grab the Komei. Hoping I grab the right CX, I believe. Yep. So I can do the power in here because I just need to do some sides for damage. So I'll play with my one win assist because I have another one hand. Even though it's waste of stock, waste of hand. If I believe this is my finishing turn, it's not too bad to go for. So yeah, play the Komei. Yeah, I grab the combo. Yep. And then uh, I believe I ditch here, but uh, ditch later. Don't 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 forget the ditch, guys, because Komei is not a plus one. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, there we go. I, I ditched for it. So I have the right CX, I combo turn. All I gotta do is pray I, I side. I get the right side here. I, I, oh, I go for a Rinaz here just to mill it some more. Because my hand's pretty. My deck's. Pretty. Whatever. In compression rate, I believe. So, yep. I actually negged a bunch of hand here. <laughs> neg two hand, neg one stock, but I'm able to get eight mills through. While well, having my assist up, just keep keep giving more power. Two. Yep, he ditches two, so he's able to search out two just don't and get the anti front above. So now here, I'm just hoping to hit some triggers, especially my power wind swing. I have five CX out, so I'm currently three and fourteen, and there's. Two, I believe, yeah, two of the stock so, and one of the pants. And I'm not quite sure how many triggers I still have left in deck. Just yeah, just side pull. here, whiff. Okay. So side for zero. Side here, unfortunately zero as well. So there's no point for me comboing here. And <laughs> unfortunately, I do the <laughs> the oof play, where the, if I had foresight. Uh, no, it wouldn't matter, because you don't want to swing power smile last. So there's no play here that really mattered. So this is a predicament. I wasn't able to finish out game here, and I just snagged a bunch of hand. I'm currently 2 and about 14. Because I triggered one out of 5 in waiting room, yep. So there's two two left in eleven. He mills two to hopefully get a sneaky uh, CX snipe off the top of my deck. And he just does the attack play. Beats over, swings for three. But cancels on three. Now if that stuck, this could have been a lot worse of a position. But he doesn't have lethal here. Now the sad, the sad part about uh, Charlotte. Yeah. Keep forgetting. Pants. Put it here. Put it. Huh? Ali, I believe both of us missed that he could have put power here, so he could have actually beat over both lanes. But instead, he crashes here. Oh, and perfectly hit. Cancel some of the last two. On, on three both times so now I went from a pretty bad position to a really good position here because I do have a damage lead he's not gonna encore in the last now which means he only has one the one that we know of the one CX that we know of that's in his hand yeah I can decide here if I get the right if I get the CX my combo CX I probably can go for a side 3-3 three, three side, hoping I hit triggers on both, or hoping I hit triggers on the first one. And a swing for 3-3, three, three, even though they're slightly over. Uh, yeah, hit one off the CX here. I believe I do grab the Komei, just so I can maybe get a chance to get it. And here's a... Uh, a big misplay where I was too quick and I, I grabbed the wrong CX here well there's no reason to direct for four if I do play a CX so I play that I also forgot to ditch one for Komei here again so uh, don't forget to ditch for Komei you guys if if I, if you ever do end up playing Komei's in your deck as your choice of four or the deck actually gets unhit So we slammed on CX, he gets the 190 front. I realized during my attacks that it was the wrong CX. Alright, yeah. For some reason, uh, the TP CX 
combos with a 2-1 instead of the power smile. Side for one. Yeah, this is where I realized, oh wait, I can't restand it. Would have been an amazing play. So I swing for four. I'm just gonna get dead. And uh, oh, I'm just gonna die. What the? Yeah, unfortunately, my opponent eats that, and that's basically the game. His three six. That was a uh, three and I believe nine. So uh, unfortunate place right here. And that's a GG. I would have been okay if I canceled that one. It's an okay time frame. So in this matchup. Yeah, Charlotte has the tools to beat over your walls. If you don't have backup, you don't really have to worry too much about their oppressive top end. So the matchup is uh, pretty good. So we'll see you for our next video.